Hello Cancer, hope you all are well. This is a general reading for you. Messages of light and love come forward here for Cancer Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Guys, I'm running a weekly contest between October 20th and December 28th, 2024. Basically, listen for the secret phrase in your weekly tarot reading and put the phrase down in the comment section to be entered to win. But you'll want to go check out the video at the end of this video talking about the contest. You'll want to read through the entire contest rules as well. Let's see what's going on here with you, Cancer. Does Cancer need to know? First card out, we have the Four of Cups. Something disappointing that you're needing to let go of here. What else here for Cancer? King of Swords. We have the Temperance card. Divine timing is playing out in your situation. I'm picking up here this King of Swords already. Uh, somebody here is not happy with you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress card. The Sun card, wow, very cool. Nine of Wands, the Chariot, the Emperor is also here. So we have a Divine Pair, but then we also have a... So there's, there's you and then there's two other people showing up in this reading here. You're in a very attractive energy at this time. I feel like this King of Swords is pissed off in some way, but you don't actually care, which is great. You're, you're like, yeah, okay. I got bigger fish to fry. I got bigger things to worry about than to worry about you. That's the message that's coming through here. You're moving on away from this person towards some, some new connection here. You're moving towards a new soulmate. A divine pair here, the emperor and the empress is here. This is a divine pair. And just as I held that up, 222 two, two was on the timer. So I feel like you guys are, things are changing very rapidly for you. Why is this four of cups here? The strength card is here. The hanged man, yeah. The Magician. You tried to make something work here with somebody from your past, they, but they kept you stuck here with the hangman. Uh, this is some kind of a test that you went through here. And um, it was disappointing for a very long time. You sat in an energy of being disappointed a lot. This person, um, there could be multiple things actually in your life that have disappointed you here in the recent past. You know that you had to change something in your life, let this person go, move forward, move on, away from them. You were trying to manifest. You may have been trying to manifest abundance, maybe a new job, maybe um, getting ahead in life in some way. I, I'm picking up that somebody here was trying to improve their credit rating and they couldn't do that either. There's something about this person from your past here keeping you very stuck. You were meant to let this person go and move forward and move on from them because you had this new soulmate showing up here for you. Why is this King of Swords here? This is this King of Swords. This person is currently either blocking you or they're angry. They're not happy with you. They've turned cold on you. Look at that. Seven of Swords. They may be calling you a liar. That's the message I'm coming through as well. They may be calling you a liar, but this person's projecting. Exactly. Five of Swords is here. They're wanting to argue with you. I feel like they're trying to argue with you because they have a lot of toxic energy that they're trying to get out and they want to blame you for it. This person is completely delusional. Page of Pentacles. They didn't put a lot into the relationship. You were doing all of the work here, Cancer. And they just wanted to create conflict with you. They may have been lying as well. So if you have this person accusing you of lying, and you didn't lie, right? They're projecting onto you. And they're wanting to argue with you. Like, get this person out of here. They're horrible. Okay? No judgment, but I feel like this, 
this relationship here from your past has expired. This person has suddenly turned cold on you. As you move away from them, you see a side to them that you haven't seen. I mean, you've seen some ugly sides to this person, but you're seeing an even bigger ugly side. They didn't, they didn't have a lot to give. And now that you're mirroring their energy back to them, they're getting pissed off. I feel like a lot of you here are detaching from this person. You're not putting a lot of effort into this relationship because this person is completely delusional. Why is this temperance card here in the outcome? I know you guys are waiting for things to change. You have this Knight of Pentacles here. So this new soulmate showing up for you may take a little while as you shed this past person's energy off of you. It's going to take a little bit of time to let them go. Get them out of your energy. Two of Pentacles and the Death card. So you have a lot of different responsibilities going on at this time here, Cancer, that you're going to need to take care of. The death card here is talking about transformation. As you move towards this new life, you have this new life coming forward here. And this new soulmate, as I mentioned before, is going to take a little time for this new soulmate to show up because um, I do feel like you guys are being patient, waiting for this new person to show up. You know you can feel them coming. There's somebody better for you, somebody that you're designed to be with in this next phase of your life. And this person I'm picking up, they're very patient. They're very kind to you. They have a lot going on in their life. They may work a lot. They may have um, kids or family responsibilities that they have to take care of. Um, but they're coming in very slowly and methodically because they want to take their time. But that's a good thing because this person is completely different than your past person. I feel like you guys want this to move along quicker, but you're going to need to shed this past person's energy. And you're going to need to show a little bit of patience as well. I feel like a lot of you feel like you're going to lose this opportunity if you don't move away from this person very quickly. I know that you're trying to set them aside very quickly here with the chariot card. Moving on with your life. Um, some of you here I'm picking up had a fear of being happy. Okay, so this, this stems from childhood where you feel like maybe you don't deserve happiness here. And you're attracted to, or you were attracted to, relationships that were toxic. Didn't offer you a whole lot. You felt like you had to put more into the connection than this person from your past. This is something very new showing up for you here. Where it's equal give and take. This person coming in, this emperor, they're very, um, they could be, they're boss energy. So they may own their own business. They may have a good job. They work really hard. They do, um... They're focused. They're very focused on succeeding. I feel like they're just so completely different than your past person. It's going to blow your mind, I feel. Um, but they're very attracted to you with the Empress card here. They're very attracted to you. And they want to see see this relationship succeed. I feel like you're, this new person's mind is going to be blown as well. They're excited to start this relationship with you. You make them very happy here with the Sun card. They're ready for happiness in their life as well. I feel like this person has spent a lot of their time just focused on their career. And so they may have had, you know, a break between you and their last relationship, maybe a long break even. Um, but they're coming in. They're definitely methodically showing up here in this reading, wanting to start a new life with you. And this is really exciting. Okay, guys, so the secret phrase is love always wins. If you want to enter the contest, Please enter that down in the comment section. I'll be drawing a winner on Sunday. Um, I'm giving away gift boxes with tarot cards, energy healing, candles, things like that. So very excited about that. And so we have weekly winners. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.